Another quiet night falls on a typical suburban neighborhood. In house after house, loving mothers pack lunches, do the dishes, put the kids to bed, and bust out saxophone solos. Tonight, Mary Heston postpones bedtime in favor of band practice. And this all-girl, all-grown-up garage band gets to drum and strum wherever they darn well please. The great thing about being the mom or, you know, a grown-up in this situation is the living room is yours. So you can rehearse wherever you want to. Your kid has to go rehearse in the garage, but you can rehearse. <laughs> so is this like a modern-day garage band, then? You Pretty just much. don't have to go to the garage because you're grown. Because we pay the mortgage, so. <laughs> We can, we can rehearse in the living room. Mary Heston, Mary Guthrie, Diane Harris, Lucy Gailey, and Martha Gurman make up Mary and the Mood Swings, five musical moms that prefer set lists over grocery lists. The Mood Swings have been perfecting their quirky brand of hormonal harmonics since 2004. How do you classify your music? Anything we want. Moody. Moody. It's moody. Because we, we're all over the board. We do punk, we do rock, we do country, do we do alternative. jazz, blues. we do alternative, we, we do, do blues. blues, we do novelty, uh, some. Yeah, some. just pop stuff, sounding stuff, we do it all. So how do five working mothers find time to rock and roll? The answer is simple. You make time for the things you love. My day, typical day, like today, begins with the alarm going off at 5.30 a.m. We are a busy group of women. I dash off to pick up my kids. Taking our kids to school, trying to keep up with their extracurricular activities. Greet the husband, hi honey. Doing what we need to do around the house. We practice and, um, and doing what we have to do for our jobs. So it's, it's a juggling act for all of us. And if I'm lucky, I have 20 minutes to read and hopefully I'm in bed by 10.30. That's my day. I work on a project uh, helping edit a book called The Photograph Collector's Guide. I am a music teacher. I work at UT Southwestern Medical School. It's, it's a big project, it's fun. I teach grades kindergarten through fifth. I work for two research scientists. It's very serious. I mean, people are doctors and scientists, and they're doing serious medical research. I like having the band as kind of my secret identity, that, you know, nobody knows that on the weekend, I'm, you know, fronting a rock and roll band. Well, the way that I find time for the band is I make time. I think it's true that you make room for the things that you really want. And uh, you know, we get together at least once a week, and we are, are, are either practicing or we're gigging. And in between times, there's practice on our own, or um, in some of our cases, we, we're writing. You put it on your schedule. You have to schedule it. I mean, and it can be hard. Calendar, you know. I mean, it's and it's, sometimes it's hard. It is hard. You know, just, you know, well, can we practice this weekend? You know, we can't. I'm, I'm out of town. You know, or she's out of town. I have to go to my nephew's birthday, birthday party. You, know. you just put on your schedule to practice. And uh, that's how you make anything happen. I will always make time for the mood swings in my life. What began as a gimmicky mom-themed band has become much, much more. Today, the Mood Swings write most of their own material and regularly perform at venues across North Texas. While they're no longer just a mom band, they still do a few numbers dedicated to diaper changers everywhere. The song, Pick Up Your Socks, is sort of a punk rock ode to motherhood. Pick up your socks. Clean up your room. Go take a bath. Pick up your socks. I'm not gonna tell you that I'm starting a count for three. I'm really gonna lose my tenuous grip on my sanity. Pick up your socks. A 
national tour and a rock idol's paycheck would be nice. But for now, each band member is satisfied just playing music. The mood swings see every set as another opportunity to fight back against complacency, routine, and the status quo of modern womanhood. And that's about as rock and roll as it gets. Women are more empowered now, I guess, if you want to say. I mean, I don't know if a 50s husband would have put up with his wife running off to bed practice. Sorry, honey, I can't cook dinner. Would you put the kids to bed? I got to go to practice. I mean, I had a woman that I work with tell me, she said that I had made her realize that you didn't have to give up on your dreams just because she got married. When you are younger, you do have confidence, and then when you're married and you get into this routine and stuff, and you tend to lose yourself or, or your confidence, you know, and this, you know, helped me bring mine back. I mean, what a gift, and it's been so much fun, and I would hope that, you know, maybe people see the mood swings and think, well, hey, maybe I can do my heart's desire too.